The clash between the dragon and the macho man was a jaw-dropping battle between two of WWE's technical masters, an instant classic by all measures. But when the dust had settled and after the smoke had cleared, after Steamboat was carted off proudly holding his Intercontinental Championship above his head, the realization set in. We still have Hulk Hogan against Andre the Giant. Featuring two of WWE's biggest stars at the time, this was the headliner that brought those 90,000 people together in the first place. Everybody has their best day at WrestleMania. That's the creme de la creme. WrestleMania, main event, there's nothing else in this world like it. Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant were great friends for years. Andre famously poured the bubbly all over Hogan when he captured the WWE Championship in January of 1984, and the two were nearly inseparable from then on. The two would be presented with trophies in separate weeks. Hogan was given one for reigning as champion for three years, while Andre received one for going 15 years without losing. For both ceremonies, Andre was not his usual self, first noting to Hogan that three years to be a champion was on edge, waiting to see what comes next. Soon after, Andre would appear with Bobby the Brain Heenan. Wait, what's going on here? Hold on, man. What are you doing with him? Heenan had gotten to Andre, fanning the flames of resentment that burned inside. Did you ever once, once in your life, offer him a championship match? A heartbroken Hogan tried to reason with his friend, but with one move, yanking Hogan's chain from his neck, it was clear there was no turning back. There's nothing else like getting in the ring with Andre the Giant. It is the great unknown. When you get there and you're with Andre the Giant, you're outmatched, you're outsized, you're outpowered. It's an uphill battle, so you have to fight from underneath. You have to have everything in sync, body, mind, and soul, to survive fighting an opponent like Andre the Giant. When I slammed Andre the Giant, I was surprised how the crowd reacted. 94,000 people lost their breath and gasped at the same time. It overwhelmed me in the ring. It's etched in stone. It's just overwhelming how many people every day approach me and talk about WrestleMania 3. Now it's up to you to do the impossible and defeat Andre the Giant at WrestleMania 3. It truly is the irresistible force meeting the immovable object. It felt like time stood still once the bell rang and Hogan and Andre approached each other in the center of the ring. It was finally here. The reason all these people were again? Did he hurt his back or his knees in that failed lift? Andre, thinking he'd won the match, would have to recompose and get back on the task of taking out the Hulkster.
Back dropped him to the floor. If Andre could shake off headbutting the ring post so quickly, what was it going to take to keep him down for a three count? Hulkamania was looking to be in deep, deep trouble. History. Hogan was in full control of this match.
Here is your winner, 